Hi, superstars. It is time for English. We are going to read in our English book on pages 40 and 41. So grab your Wonders English book. We are reading about things that you can do. Let's read this together right here. I can do it. Remember, we always start on the left side and we read going right. So when we're reading, we start from the left and we read in this direction to the right. So left to right. All right, what are some things that you can do? There are things that you can do now that you couldn't do when you were younger. When you were younger, maybe you couldn't read or you couldn't help set the table, right? But now that you're getting older, you're changing and you're learning more. So think of some things that you can do at home and talk to your mom or dad about that. What are some things that you can do to help out around the house? All right, let's look at this little girl. What can this girl do? What does it look like she did? Well, look at this artwork that she did. This is pretty. She made a rainbow. So she can do art. There's many things each of us can do. And we are going to listen to a story now about some animals and what they can do. So let's pay attention. Okay, we are going to read about animals. The animals do many things. So let's look for things the animals do that we can do too. All right, let's look at the cover of this book. This is the front cover of the book. So there's the title. Let's read the title together. Animals in the park an abc book remember we always start on the left and we always read to the right so we read from left to right now down here it says by bob barner he is the author and the illustrator of this book. The author is the person who writes the story and the illustrator is the person who draws the pictures in the story. So he is doing both. This is an ABC book. So the genre of this book the genre means what type of story it is or what type of book. The genre is an ABC book. Okay, so an ABC book is a book that shows or is about a letter of the alphabet. Some words on each page begin with the letter at the top. So the title says that these animals are in a park. So what can we do when we go to the park? What are the, some of the things that you do when you go to a park? Do you play? You probably play different things, run around. You play with your friends. Okay, so let's look at the front cover here. This is the front cover of the book, okay? There's an alligator, and the alligator is picking an apple in the park. Let's read to see what the other animals do. All right, let's begin. Animals.
Angels in the Park, an ABC book by Bob Barner. Animals in the park do not move all day, but now that it is dark, watch them as they play. All right, do you see all of the animals? They're just standing there during the day and they're not doing anything. But they say when it's dark, they play. A. Alligator can act. All right, so alligator starts with the letter A. So A says ah. All right, let's see what the next thing says. B. Bear can balance. The bear is balancing this basket of fruit. So when you balance something, it doesn't fall. And bear starts with the letter B. Bear. C. Cat can count. Oh, it looks like the cat is counting whatever is on the floor. There's carrots. And what are those? Those are probably caterpillars. And there's a cup. They all start with the C sound, K. So all of them start with this letter C. Cup, caterpillar, carrots, and cat, right? Okay, let's go to the next page here. D. Dog can dance. The dog can dance. Both of those words start with a D sound. E. Elephant can enter. E is for elephant. F. Fox can follow. Fox can follow. Do you hear the F sound? G. Goat can giggle. G for goat. G. Goat. H. Hippopotamus can hop. Oh, hippopotamus starts with H and the hippopotamus hops. And that also starts with the letter H. I. Iguana can imagine. Iguana starts with the I sound, and that is what the letter I makes, the I sound. And look, he's imagining some insects over here. Insects also start with the letter I. Insects. J. Jaguar can juggle. J. J for jaguar. K. Kangaroo can kick. K for kangaroo and kick. He's kicking the ball. And what is this? It's a kite. And that also starts with the letter K. L. Lion can leap. Lion, the letter. L. L is for lion. L is also for lobster. Leaf. And what's on the leaf? Ladybug, right? Those all start with the letter L. M. Monkey can march. The monkey starts with an M, can march. It also starts with the letter M. What else in this picture starts with the letter M? What is this? Looks, it's in the sky. It's a 
moon. And how about down here? What are these? They start with the letter M also. Mushrooms. Those all start with the letter M. N. Newt can nibble. Newt starts with the letter N. This is a newt right here. What else starts with the letter N in this picture? What's this? A net. Net starts with the letter N. What's this in the tree? Nest. That also starts with the letter N. O. Octopus can observe. Octopus starts with the O. Do you see anything else in the picture that starts with the letter O? A. The O says A or O. What does this look like? An ostrich. Do you hear the O sound? Ostrich. And how about this little fella swimming? That's an otter. It also starts with the letter O. P. Panda can pull. P for panda. What else do you see in this picture that starts with the letter P? What is he pulling? A pumpkin, that's right. And how about this little guy that is has a parachute on him? It's a pig that also starts with the letter P. All right. Q, quail can question. Quail can question. Quail starts with the Q, qua sound. Here's the quail. What else do you see that starts with the Q? What is this? A queen. And the queen is holding up a sign that says, quiet. Okay. R, rabbit can race. Rabbit starts with the letter R. What else do you see that starts with the letter R? What is this? A rooster. Very good. S. Seal can sail. Seal can sail. They start with the S sound. What other things can you see in the picture that starts with the S sound? What is this? Sun. That is right. Sun. T. Tiger can tug. Tiger can tug. T. Starts with the T sound. What other things do you see that have that same beginning sound? What is this? T telephone. How about this? Turtle. Very good. You, umbrella bird, can uncover. Umbrella. That starts with the uh sound which is you. you the you makes the a uh sound or it says you so what other things do you see that starts with the a uh sound well we said umbrella right and right here this is a pail but it's uncovering the cup there is the a uh sound in the word cup, cup, not the beginning sound, but the middle sound. We'll be talking about that later. V, 
Vol can visit. V for vol. Vol can visit. What other thing can you see here that starts with the V? What is this? Van. It starts with the V. And this looks like a vine, which also starts with the V sound. W. Walrus can waddle. W. Walrus. What other things do you see in the picture that starts with the W sound? There's two things right here. Watermelon and wagon, right? There's one more thing I see. Do you see it? What's this? A woodpecker. Starts with the W sound. Whoops. X. X-ray fish can examine. X-ray. X-ray starts. I'm sorry. X-ray starts with the X. Can you hear the X? The X says X. X-ray. These are all X-rays. And they start with the X sound. X. Why yak can yell. Yak can yell. Yeah, the Y says yeah. What else in this picture do you see that starts with the yeah sound? What is this? Yarn. Yarn, it starts with the y sound, right? Well, what color is this up here? It's a yo-yo and it's yellow. That starts with the y sound. Z, zebra can zigzag. Z, zebra can zigzag. Do you see anything else in this picture? that starts with the z sound. What's that? That's a zipper. How about this? Can you read that? It says zoo, and that also starts with the z sound. Good job, superstars. Okay. Animals play all night. They act, dance, and hop. But now that it is light, watch them as they stop. So these animals don't play during the day. So everybody just thinks they're standing still as statues. So it's saying watch them stop because they only play at night. All right, superstars. Good listening. Let's go to page 42 in our English reading book and let's listen to the sounds of these letters. Capital S, lowercase s. Capital T, lowercase t. Capital U, lowercase u. Capital V. Lowercase v. All right. I want you to repeat the sounds and the names of each of those letters. Let's listen to these ones. Say the name of. Say the name of each letter. Capital W. Lowercase w. Capital X. Lowercase x. Capital Y. Lowercase y. Capital Z. Lowercase z. All right, practice reading those so you know them. These are words to know. I can. Okay, remember, I is a word. That is one of our sight words, I. And can is another 
high frequency word that I want you to know, can. So let's listen and try to read along. I can help. I can help. Can I play with Anna? Can I play with Anna? Good job. I want you to practice reading those sentences so that you can just identify I and can without even trying. You're going to know how to read those. Those are high frequency words that you need to know without trying to sound out. You just need to know them. Let's read the story at school. At school. Where do you think this story will take place? The title gives us a clue, right? The title says, at school. So this story is taking place at school. All right, let's look at the pictures here. This story has no words in it. It only has pictures. So we're going to look at the pictures and find clues as to what is happening. So look at each page and let's see what's happening at school on page 46. What are the kids doing? And what is the teacher doing? Does it look like they're writing? It looks like they're writing in school. Let's look at page 47. What is the teacher doing on this page? Is the teacher talking to the students? Maybe telling them to show and tell something? They're, it looks like they're holding up something and they're sharing with the class or talking about some, some pictures that they're holding up there. What are the kids doing? Are they sitting paying attention? It looks like they're listening, right? All right, let's turn our page. All right, let's look at page 48. What is this girl doing? Well, you see some beautiful artwork. It looks like it looks like she's drawing and coloring, right? So she's doing art at school. All right, let's look over here. Page 49. What are all of these, all of these shelves? What do they have on them? They have books. Do you know a place that has shelves and books like this? And look, all of the students are holding books too. Where do you go to get books? A library, right? So it looks like they are in the school library checking out books. All right, what does it look like they're doing here? The teacher's standing. Looks like she's telling them to do something. They are standing in line, right? What are they carrying on their backs? What are they carrying? Do you see this? What are those? Are those backpacks? It looks like they're lining up to probably go home. They're standing at the door in line, waiting quietly for their mom and dad to pick them up. Right? And that was the story at school. There were no words in it, but we looked at each picture and we got clues and knew what was happening. So sometimes you just have to look closely at the pictures and you'll figure it out. All right, we are on page 51. Turn to page 51. Let's read the title together. It says, 
what, let me get that darker. What can I do? What do you think this story is about? Do you think it's about things that you can do? Why do you think it's about things that you can do? What's, what were the clues? What's the clue that it told us? It said, what can I do? So that gave us a clue to what the story is about. Things that we can do. All right, let's look at page 52. What does it look like this young student is doing? We can read this rebus here. It says, I can, and look at the rebus. That's called a rebus because it's a picture with a word. It gives you a clue to what the word is. It says, I can ride. So this student is riding a scooter. Let's look at page 53. What is this young girl doing? Look at the rebus here. Let's read it together. I can rake. She's raking the leaves, helping out at home, right? Or outside. Good job. Let's turn the page. We are on page 54. What does it look like this young boy's doing? Is he walking this dog? All right, look at the rebus. Let's read it together. I can walk. Very good. Practice reading. All right, let's turn to page 55. What does it look like this little girl is doing? Well, she's getting a book. What do you do with a book? You read a book, right? So let's try to read this sentence together and look at the rebus here. Remember, a rebus is the picture with the word. It gives us a clue to what the word is. Let's read it together. Can I read? She's asking a question. This is a question mark at the end. Can I read? She's asking if she can read. All right, let's look at the last page here. Page 56, what does it look like she's doing? She's holding a book and she's looking at it. What is she doing? She's reading. All right, let's read together. I can read. This is an exclamation point. So when you're saying something excitedly, for instance, I can read, you're excited about that. So we use an exclamation point at the end so that you can read it in a loud voice. So I can read. She's very happy about that. I want you to practice reading because you are so smart. Every day, make sure you're reading in your book, okay? Good job. We are going to listen to a story and it is called Tiki Tiki Tembo. This story's genre, remember when we were talking about genre, that is the type of story it is. This story is a fable. So the genre is a fable. A fable is an old story that's been told many times. So we are going to listen about these people who help each other and we're gonna see who needs help and who are the helpers. So let's listen. Tiki. 
Tiki Tiki Tembo, based on a Chinese fable. Long ago, two boys were born in a small village in China. Their parents named their firstborn son Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Serembo, Mary Berry, Tip Top, Silly Billy, Flip Flop, Bush Berry, Bembo. When their second son was born, they had one favorite name left, Chen. At last, the brothers were old enough to play outside by themselves, but their mother warned them, "Do not go near the deep well, or you will trip and fall in." One day, when the brothers were chasing a kite, Chen tripped and fell into the well. Splash! His older brother raced to tell their mother what had happened. Mother, mother! Chen's brother cried. Chen has fallen into the well. We must rescue him! Cried his mother. Run and find the house painter. Tell him to come quickly and bring his long ladder. So the young boy raced to the village and found the house painter, who was standing on top of his long ladder. Chen has fallen into a deep well! He cried, and only your long ladder can save him. Together. They ran back to the well. Then the house painter climbed down his long ladder into the water. When he came back up again, he was carrying Chen. After that, the brothers did not play near the well for a long time. But one day, Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Serembo, Mary Berry, Tip Top, Silly Billy, Flip Flop, Bush Berry Bembo ran to catch a ball. He jumped high in the air and fell right. Into the well, down, down, down he went. Splash went the water. Chen ran to tell his mother. Mother, mother, he cried. Tiki, tiki, tembo, no serembo, Mary Berry, tip top, silly Billy, flip flop, Bush Berry, bembo has fallen into the well. But his mother couldn't believe her ears. What did you say? Tell me again. So Chen took a deep breath and said, "Tiki tiki tembo, no serembo, Mary Berry, tip top, silly Billy, flip flop, Bush Berry, bembo has fallen into the well. We must rescue him right away." Chen's mother said, "Quick, find the house painter. Tell him to bring his long ladder." So Chen raced to the village to find the house painter. By the time he found him, he could barely speak. Oh, honorable house painter! Chen cried, "Tiki, Tiki, Mary, Barry." Chen stopped and took a very deep breath. Then he started again, "Tiki, Tiki, Tembo, Bush, Flip, Hop." Chen stopped and started to cry. He could not say his brother's long name. "What are you trying to tell me?" asked the house painter. This time, Chen took a very, very deep breath and said, "Tiki, tiki, tembo, no serembo, Mary Berry, tip top, silly Billy, flip flop, Bush Berry, bembo has fallen into the well." What? cried the house painter. Why didn't you say so at once? We must save him right away. So Chen and the house painter ran to the well. The house painter used his tall ladder to climb down to the bottom. Soon. He climbed up, carrying Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Serembo, Mary Berry, Tip Top, Silly Billy, Flip Flop, Bush Berry, Bembo. Because of his long name, the boy had been in the water much longer than had his brother Chen. He had to rest in bed for several days. When he opened his eyes, ready to play again, his parents were sitting next to him, smiling. "We have something to tell you," they said. "From now on." We will call you only by your first three names, and so from that day on, he was known only as Tiki Tiki Tembo. Okay, who are the two boys in this story? Who are they? They are brothers. What does their mother warn them about 
What did she tell them? Be careful. What was she telling them about? She told them not to go near the deep well. Did they listen? No, they didn't listen, right? So who helps when Chen falls into the well? Who did they call to help? They called the house painter. Do you remember? He fell into the well and they called the house painter. So why is Tiki Tiki Tembo down in the well longer than Chen? Well, his name is so long that Chen had trouble asking for help. Do you remember his long name? It is so long that we can't even remember it. It was Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Sorembo, Mary Berry, Tip Top, Silly Billy, Flip Flop, Bush Berry, Bembo. It was so long that his brother couldn't say it. So they changed his name to Tiki Tiki Tembo. All right, superstars, you're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. Until next time, I want you to have a wonderful day. Bye.